All Toyota models are equipped with multiple airbags, each of which is designed to inflate in specific severe collision conditions to help reduce the risk of serious injury to occupants. It is important to note that all airbags are supplemental restraint systems. They are designed to work in conjunction with properly worn seat belts, which should be worn at all times. All new Toyota vehicles have at least six airbags that include driver and passenger front airbags, front seat side airbags, and curtain side airbags. Some models may include additional airbags as well. Different models may be equipped with different combinations of airbags that can include front driver and passenger frontal airbags to help protect the head and upper body of the front seat occupants in a frontal collision, front and rear side airbags to help protect the upper body of the front and rear seat occupants in a side impact collision, head curtain airbags to help protect the head of front, rear and third row occupants if equipped with a third row on frontal, side, rear side and on some models rollover collisions, knee airbags to help restrain the knees and lower body of the driver in a frontal collision. Seat cushion airbags to help prevent the belted front passenger from sliding forward in the event of a frontal collision. Not every model will include all the airbags shown here. The deployment of each airbag is controlled by an onboard computer network based on information obtained from an array of sensors within the vehicle. Such factors include the angle of impact, impact force, and occupant information such as size and position. When airbags are triggered, a chemical reaction in the airbag inflators quickly fills the airbags with a non-toxic gas, expanding them into the space between the occupants and the airbag mounting position. Inflation occurs instantaneously. It is accompanied with a loud noise, similar to a gunshot. And when it inflates, a white powder may be emitted. That powder is not smoke and it is not toxic. It may, however, be hot immediately after deployment, as may be the airbag itself. The airbag will deflate almost immediately so it will not impede exit from the vehicle. Different airbags within the vehicle are designed to deploy in different conditions, and each will deploy only if the type of impact that triggers it exceeds a threshold level of severity. The speed required to trigger the impact may be much higher if the object struck deforms or moves, thereby absorbing some of the impact of the collision, as can be the case when colliding with another vehicle, for example. If a sensor system determines that the front passenger seat is not occupied, an airbag off indicator will light up on the instrument panel, and the passenger side front, knee, and seat cushion airbags will not be activated if a collision occurs. Note that if heavy objects are placed on the passenger seat, the system may consider that seat to be occupied, potentially triggering those airbags in a collision. The system judges a person of adult size as an adult. When a smaller adult sits in the front passenger seat, the system may not recognize him, her, as an adult, depending on his, her physique and posture. To ensure maximum protection in the event of a collision and airbag deployment, certain precautions should be taken. Seat belts should be properly worn at all times by all passengers. A child too small to use a seat belt should be properly secured in a child restraint system. Toyota strongly recommends that all infants and children be properly restrained in the rear seat of a vehicle using correctly installed child or booster seats. Front seat occupants should not hold children or objects on their knees. Occupants should not put their feet on the instrument panel, lean against the door, roof rail, front, side or rear pillars, or extend hands, arms or legs outside the vehicle. The parts of the vehicle containing the side and seat cushion airbags should not be modified in any way. That precaution includes the use of seat covers or aftermarket leather upholstery installed, as such additions may impede proper deployment of the side and seat cushion airbags, potentially leading to severe injury or death. The features and functions described in this video might not be applicable to your Toyota model. See your owner's manual for details. Thanks for watching this Know Your Toyota video.